<laughs> well, how y'all doing, boys and girls? I am Stuart K. Riley, and if you've never heard of me, I'm Stuart K. Riley. I would like to welcome all of y'all wonderful people to Working Man Games, video games for the working man. Let me tell y'all something. Uh, we have a little thing in the South we like to call uh, deer season. It's basically like summer camp for rednecks. Except uh, we get to kill innocent little animal creatures like with uh, stuff like this Now the bad thing about it is um, It only comes You know once a year and it's a very short little time period in which you can use this so I can only shoot deer at a very specific period in time deer ducks, whatever so, and there's rules, there's many rules, and fuck the rules, I've, I have no money. So, what am I going to do when deer season ain't on? No, seriously, I'm asking here. I can't go oh, get a, a bag and tag for a human. I'd like to, but... <laughs> the only real alternative I had back in the day, it was uh, uh, watching hunting shows on TV. Yeah, back when TV was still a thing. And wow, did that get repetitive after a while. You either had these bunch of rednecks out in the field whispering in their microphone, but then suddenly you'd hear some of their shit brush against brush against it like that. If it wasn't that, it was always this loud, obnoxious turd, something like this. Hey, Burn, so we're gonna do us a little bit of deer hunting. I know what I mean. There's one right there, Burn. Look at that one, Burn. Look at that. That right there. He's lightweight and scented too. Burning, you know why I'm putting these things on? That's him right there. That's a neck shot, Burn. That's the kill shot. You get a straight, look at that, through and through, right on the jig, jiggered, 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 gizzard. 700 shots that I've put in him, a full semi-auto clip, 100 rounds per second assault clip. Assault clip. You gotta think it's M14 right here. Save for people in Vietnam, and then stop saving them because we needed an M16. But I got one. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I forgot it was hot, huh? The next best thing I can think of is video games. And apparently, there's deer hunting video games. These right here in my hands, PlayStation 2s. But the legacy of deer hunting games starts way before PlayStation 2. It starts back in 1997. A little place called Sunstorm Interactive came up with this little uh, PC game we know now as Deer Hunter. And let me tell you something, I bet you anything in 1997, the guys at Sunstorm had no freaking idea there would be 10 gazillion versions of Deer Hunter. I bet you anything, there's more versions of Deer Hunter than there is Street Fighter 2. Which still makes no fucking sense, by the way. But who exactly were Sunstorm Interactive? Did they work on anything good? No, but they did do a few add-ons for some build engine games back in the 90s. Some that you might know, Blood, Duke Nukem, and Redneck Rampage, which we'll have to get back to in a second because there's something on here. But for this half of the video, we're gonna mostly focus on Deer Hunter. And it's only right that we do the one that started it all, the Deer Hunter from 1997. That was me after 50 tries at recording this game. You gonna work? You gonna do anything? All right, let's find some Hey, bucks. hey. Well, this is it, the original Deer Hunter. Soak it in for all it's worth, y'all, because this is about as good as it gets. I also found out that if you touch any other button other than start new game, it will crash. I guess the fact that it works on Windows 10 is a marvel in and of itself, though. As you can see for a split second there, your name is Davy Crockett when you first pop up. You got a couple of items. I don't think they actually do anything. I just picked the shotgun because I like shotguns. Arkansas Autumn Woodlands. You know, I've got a funny anecdote about a guy that lived in Arkansas. These two guys were pissing off the side of a bridge. One of them said the water's cold and one of them said the water's deep. I believe one fella come from Arkansas. 
tell. And this is how you find the deer. This is a Deer Hunter 1 exclusive known as the infamous Magic Circle. And what does the Magic Circle do? Absolutely nothing. Actually, it has one purpose and one purpose only. To keep the developers from having to make a 3D world in which the character has to walk around in. This is not a map. It's part of the gameplay. What it's supposed to do is represent you walking around in the woods looking for markings or droppings or any kind of indication that a deer has been around. As you can see, it doesn't work. It's not uncommon to sit on your ass for five minutes just sitting here waiting for this thing to find something and it never find anything. By the time you do, any desire to want to play this game has gone out the door at this point. But it's then and only then do we get to play the game. This is the game, the whole game. You don't get to walk. You don't get to fucking explore a 3D map. This is the game. You could make this in flash in about uh, less than a day. The most you really get to move is a little bit left and right. You can kind of zoom in on the JPEG they use as your uh, field of view there. That's about all it does. You get a deer call and some deer horns to rattle together to get the deer's attention. Neither of them do anything either. Allow me to show you the snow level and me venting my frustration. <laughs> What I've always wanted, a deer call that I can put this, put this, rattle me horns. In the end, I was so pissed off and dismayed at not seeing one single fucking deer, I just started taking out my frustration on the trees. Oh, shut your mouth, tree. I eat trees, cause money don't grow on them. Oh, I. The closest I got to seeing a deer was I heard somebody shoot in the distance, so I guess they got the deer that I had tracked down. Next, I spent some time with Deer Hunter 2. Now, is it a better game than the first one? Leaps and bounds, okay? But then again, there's a lot of other things that's better than Deer Hunter 1, I've decided. You know, like watching paint dry. So, this doesn't say much. First of all, this game gives you somewhat of a variety of weapons to bring along. Including a different variety of shotguns and rifles and a pistol, even. If you want to be the dirtiest of Harry's, you can have a 44 Magnum if you want. I have one little peeve with the menu, though. Oh, um, when you select a gun, uh, you'll notice that I had a different weapon selected here, but um, it didn't register as the weapon I was going to take along. I'll click done, and it's not there. You'll notice that there's a button called use over there on the left. Well, shit, apparently you have to click that, then click done. It's kind of confusing, but I get confused by a lot of things. Like, why does arthritis medicine come in a childproof cap you have to push down? 3D world this time, they finally got with the program. It's all nice and three-dimensional out here. What year was this one made? 1998? Fuck me, dude. Ocarina of Time and Metal Gear fucking Solid was out at this point. And for the 3D at the time, they made amazing games out of it. In fact, they were upgrading from the last few years of good 3D games. I'm talking like a year before Deer Hunter 1 come out. I'm talking 1996. Quake was out at this point. Super Mario 64 was out at this point. I mean, look at those graphics, man. This is such a more intense game. But now that I've made fun of the 3D, let me make fun of the 3D some more. I mean, look at that freaking view, man. Hell. And before you say graphics don't make a game, I know that. And I will take this time to tell you that the items still do fuck all. And now a montage of wandering around aimlessly. I walk the lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me and I walk. After about half an hour of that wandering around aimlessly, I remembered that when I played this game as a youngin, there was cheat codes. So I looked them up. The first one I put in was one to run faster, and oddly enough, I ran as fast in game as you see in that montage just now <laughs> of me speeding up the video. So there's that, I guess. But cheat codes in the 90s used to be fun. Let's find something fun. DH2 Friday the 13th. <laughs> 
I've still yet to find the hot coffee mod, though. DH2 rain. Make it rain. Deerzilla makes a deer huge, and deer DH2 circle attaches you to a deer. So it just kind of puts you where a deer is at. Sounds good. Let's put in both. Uh, that's no fun. Fuck you. Well, I can't deny that's a big buck. Um, I guess uh, you shoot him now. Wow, I really am following him. Look, look like the camera's like circling around him. Wow, it's I'm shooting fish in a barrel, y'all. But at least I get to finally shoot a goddamn deer. Woo! Ooh. Now that's a good shot. Then why is he still running and dragging me with him? Shoot the thing to die. Oh no. Oh no, are you having regrets or some shit? You killed a goddamn deer, be proud. That'll go great in my trophy room. Let's see what I got in the trophy room. This voice actor, I swear, it's like enthusiasm isn't even in his dictionary. Yeah, 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 I see. You don't have to run it into the ground. Now, earlier I mentioned a video game called Redneck Rampage, which uses the Duke Nukem 3D engine, the build engine. Well, the company that made that game, Zatrix Entertainment, after they got through with the Redneck Rampage series, the next chapter in the Redneck series was a game called Redneck Deer Hunting. All it really was was recycled elements from Redneck Rampage. It was basically a mod of Redneck Rampage where instead of a first-person shooter, it was a first-person hunting simulator thing. Probably not the worst use of the build engine. In fact, I know it's not. You think that was loud enough? Also, interesting note, I think it's based on a very early version of Redneck Rampage, like the shareware demo or something. If anybody's ever played that, that'd be 10 of you in the world. The shareware demo was extremely buggy, and this is the build of the build engine <laughs> that it's based on. Yay! I'm not gonna waste too much time on this game because unlike Deer Hunter, this game is not critically acclaimed by any, any type of niche market. This game was shit across the board. To show you how little they gave a shit, that's the same pistol. All this is doing is just making me want to play Redneck Rampage. Is that not the best shooting animation you've ever seen? Wait till you see the reload. No, you didn't blink. You saw that. That is the reload for the revolver in this game. That is the fastest fucking revolver reload I have ever seen in my life. And let me add, that's a Ruger Blackhawk. In real life, you load it the exact same way you do a Colt single action army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. This revolver loads as fast as you can pump a pump action shotgun. Technically, I'd be better off just reloading it after every shot like that. Hey, I ought to try that in Overwatch. Hello there. Nah, I like it the other way. Onto the actual game, though, there's a duck hunting segment on here, too. It's just one circular map with a circular pond in the middle that you sit decoys in, stand around and do nothing, then get bored and start playing Funky Town on a deer call. <laughs> That was fun for five seconds. I did actually find some animals in the deer and turkey hunting stage, but damned if I could kill any of them. Wait. Oh, fire. You reckon I ought to load the gun? I can't get over that. Also, it is so weird to hear Leonard from Redneck Rampage try to censor himself when he said such lines as, Oh, shit, fire, and fuck me running. I could eat a buffalo's ass through an electric fence. I farted. It's wet, and I don't want to move. R. Kelly. And hey, who said it had to be just deer hunting? I mean, there's all kind of good, like, duck hunting games. All kind of good, uh, let's see. Uh, just dangerous hunt games. Hey, Cabela's had a whole dangerous hunt series. In fact, I got one of them here on the PS2 we'll look at here in a bit. Are you seasick yet? So, what are the games we're going to be looking at today? Answer, some really horrible shite I paid way too much for. Like, Cabela's 
horrible phone camera experience. Answer something really, really shite. Like, upside down deer game. Cabela's Big Game Hunter. The next Volitio F hunting by Activision. And those lovely people that give us those uh, Call of Duty games, and we all, know, we all know how wonderful those are. Right? I don't know if I'm Australian or UK. I'm sorry. I'm not that Stuart. Man, I have not touched my PS2 in a very, very long time. You can tell it's all dirty and musty and stuff. I took a rag to it and got it all cleaned up, but you could tell I ain't used it in a while. Am I the only person that never had any trouble with this uh, slim version of the PS2? And the Mad Cat's aftermarket uh, memory card? I mean, this thing's been great. I never, ever had any corrupt game files or anything like that. Oh, by the way, I couldn't get Big Game Hunter to work. But it's okay, because the other game is almost exactly the same thing with different graphics. This, my friends, is Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. It's almost completely the same game as Big Game Hunter, only the graphics have been changed to protect the longevity of the game developers. It uses basically the same principle as most simulators nowadays. It's got a career mode with a money system and a mission system, blah, 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 blah. The only important thing you need to know is that you get to play as Bill Murray as he appears in Caddyshack. Gonna be a Cinderella story out in the woods today. No, 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 no. Look at here, you got special stats like Fallout. Notice that intelligence is missing because if you had any intelligence, you wouldn't have bought this fucking game. Gun now, I could give the game this. This game has got a lot of guns. One of which is in one of my favorite weapons platforms, the lever action. I cannot relate to you how satisfying the chick chick of a lever action rifle is. Anyway, the it seems like in this game it's set up to where you have your primary and a secondary weapon. And the secondary weapon is pretty much meant to thwart off the dangerous part of the dangerous hunts the uh animals that fight back then you got to set yourself up with camo food so you don't starve to death it's also a survival game this is one year before metal gear solid 3 y'all 2003 mgs3 came out in 04. i'm gonna be honest the big chunk of my recording on this video was just me trying to figure out how the hell the menu works and how to do everything. It takes me right back to Fallout and some of the Elder Scrolls games, especially the old ones like Daggerfall, where there's too much customization. Fuck, it's taking forever to load. Really? Are you serious? Is this game not gonna work either? Oh, there we go. So this is the hand-holding part of the hunt where it tells you where everything is actually at. They even have little bitty red dots on them so you know where to look. Also, that dog is going to kill me, apparently. Well, I'm a coyote and coyotes are better than wolves because, yeah. You know, I was kidding about the Metal Gear Solid 3 joke, but look, we've got a camo index, we've got a stamina meter, all we need is a snake and an ocelot. And I bet this game has some. Now let's see if we can't find that Bernstein bear. All y'all saying it wrong, it's Bernstein. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Damn, I guess there ain't nothing over here. Oh shit! Motherfucker, where did you come from? Get off of me! Get away from me, damn mother Get out of the butt, funny fucking! I'm gonna shit your back. I'm gonna kick it on the butt, and then I'm gonna poke on it on the stupid butt. The butt! I told you I'd keep it in your stupid butt, but you didn't believe me. Why didn't you believe me? Good lord, if a damn wolf is that hard to kill, how hard is it gonna be to kill this damn bear? What the hell was that? Alright, fuck that game. I'm actually getting sick of it. I've got another PS2 game in the lineup, and the other one is Cabela's Trophy Bucks. And y'all, I gotta say, this one surprised me. It's actually playable. It takes a completely different route from the whole hunting simulator thing. Instead of an open world, you get these small little worlds with missions to do. Now, doesn't that sound a lot better than running around in a vast map of nothing with nothing to do? 
I will say this, the graphics ain't much to write home about, even for PS2 standards. But here I am, just joined a hunt for the first time in this game, and already there's a couple of deer, and there I am shooting at them. And there I go, reloading my double barrel, and there they go into the woods. Well, well, hell, oh, and that's a wall. I can't, that's the way, hey, what, I won? How did I win? Is silver medal like consolation prize, like E for effort or some shit? <laughs> Apparently not, because I got a gun out of the deal too. Did you see that? But no time for that. We have to hunt these p birds. Hey, Rover, you think it's weird that a coyote has a pet dog? I walk a lonely road. When these birds finally do come out of the trees, the glorious 480p makes it impossible to see them. I'm making literal shots in the dark here, hoping that I hit them. And believe it or not, I am! Right after this stage was a bonus round, which was like a modern day version of Duck Hunt. Birds just come out of nowhere and you just blast away at them until time runs out. To be God honest, it was actually kind of fun and kind of exciting to see how accurate I could be. Pop a couple of these fly boys right here. Four stars. Whoa, what's going on here? Shit, now I'm rattle me bones shooting at birds. And apparently I've lost my integrity. Yeah, that's another thing. You get power-ups in this game. This is x-ray specs. This is the first of these hunting games, which is more like a game instead of a simulator. It was another neat stage where you could send Fido to locations to kind of spook up the birds. Just tell Dee Dee where to kill and he'll kill. You know, despite the fact that I like this game, have you noticed something odd about it though? Uh, th th it's called Trophy Bucks, but so far I've been mostly shooting birds. Yeah. While we're on the subject, do you think that 9-11 was an inside job? I know a lot of people that do. Well, let, instead of talking about inside jobs, let's talk about a video game which was obviously a mother's basement job. In the spirit of saving the best for last in this part of the episode, I give you, ladies and gentlemen, Al-Qaeda Hunting 3D. Full version, I should add. Made in a time when everybody was feeling extremely murica and patriotic, Al-Qaeda Hunting 3D promises only the best hunting experience. By best hunting experience, I of course mean... Thank you. Enough said. All right. All right, now what if I told you that a rock star came out with a hunting game? I bet it would take you about two seconds to figure out who the fuck it is that did that. <laughs> but if you want to find out, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait. Join us again on Working Man Games when we check out Bambo Hunting Games Part 2. Also Ted Nugent. <laughs> okay, what did, I, what did I come up with? Why you trying to run, Bambi? I got a gun, Bambi. And I aims to shoot you down. I watch you on my wall, baby. I put you on my grill, baby. I bet you taste good with some ketchup and some spice. Want more stew? Follow my ass on Twitter. Want to give me money so I can buy more games and make more videos? Check out Coffee, K-O-F-I. Link in the description. Have ideas for future episodes or just critique in general? I do read the YouTube comments, so send them. Until part two, good night and laissez le bon temps rouler to all of you.